Dr. Daria Long Gillespie is an ER doctor at Emory University Hospital, and also congratulations are in order, also pregnant with her second child. So this hits really close <laughs> Thank to home, you. Daria. It's nice to have you back on the yes. program. Thank you, Jenna. I appreciate it. It's great so, to be back. So tell me a little bit about how you see it as a medical professional, but also as a, a pregnant woman in, in an area of the country that some are pointing to as the next spot for Zika to go. Yes, absolutely, Jenna. And you're right. The CDC is telling people not to travel to Miami, but that forgets the fact that, one, there are women who live in Miami right now, and the fact that this disease is spreading. It's already spread to Texas, and as you said, as you heard in the previous clip, it could spread to other states. So the key point here is if you are pregnant, no matter where you live, every single pregnant woman out there has to take precautions as if her neighborhood was the next Miami. Wow. So right now, what are you doing? So I have a system because for all of us women who are out there who are pregnant, our number one thing is to protect our pregnancy. And so I have it, I call it the three R's. I'm not going to quiz you on the three R's. We did just start <laughs> school, but I won't quiz you today. Um, but I do this because it not only protects me from Zika, but it also keeps me from using more chemicals than I absolutely have to, to protect myself. So I call it three R's. It means repel, re reduce, forgetting my own, of course, reduce, repel, and rinse. Now, by reduce, I'm saying reduce your bare body that's exposed because to a mosquito that's like a buffet. So long sleeves like the kind I'm wearing here, a long tunic, wear long pants. They can be nice long flowing pants but again in, when, in Zika season more is more. So reduce the bare skin exposed. Number two is repel. Now Jenna I'm sure when you were pregnant you were worried about the chemical exposure sure. as well but we do know exactly we do know there are two chemicals that any pregnant woman when you're looking at repellent look for either DEET or picaridin. Now, one thing I like to do and I think is smart is to use a lower percentage. If you're only going out for one or two hours, you only use a 10 to 15% amount of DEET, you'll get less exposure. And if you're already wearing a lot more clothing, again, you're getting less exposure because you're only spraying exposed skin and then loosely on top of your clothing, never L underneath your clothing. Me, I know we're, at a, we're gonna go to another R, but I wanna make sure <laughs> to ask you this question for, for families. It's back to school time. Yeah. And in Miami, there's reports of kids being sent to school with mosquito repellent and there's been so many questions about Zika and why mm -hmm. it impacts unborn children but we're not talking about the risk to young babies or to, to young mm -hmm. children. Can you talk us through that? What is the risk to the rest of us, those are, that are not pregnant, but also to our children? Yes, absolutely. You're right. If it impacts an unborn child, it literally causes that, it can cause microcephaly where it stops brain development. After a child has been born, the CDC says they're still monitoring because they don't know the full effects of infection of Zika virus to a child or older adult. We do know that they can get Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is even a higher risk for an older adult, but we still don't know the full extent of it. So what I tell everybody, again, same rules, DEET, Picaridin, and IR3535. Those are the three, uh, three repellents that you can use on pregnant women and young children, and you're going to keep them safe. What do you think about all the questions that we don't have answers to yet when it comes to Zika? How, how scared does that make you as a medical professional, but also as a mother? You know, Jenna, you're right. This is, Zika is one of those that we don't know all the answers to, so it can be very scary. It's crucial that we remember what we can do. And again, for pregnant women, that's protecting your pregnancy from Zika. For families, it's protecting your families from being infected. So again, it's the reduce, repel, and then rinse it off. Wash off all the repellent when you get back inside. You will protect yourselves from what we don't know the full outcome of, and you'll keep yourself safe.